The Actors Gang is a local theater troupe that runs a program called The Prison Project. It brings theater into California prisons as a form of rehabilitation. Here in MacArthur Park, they're using the techniques of classic Italian Commedia dell'arte to help incarcerated people re-enter life on the outside. You guys want to try out this new program? You're more than welcome. The Actors Gang. So as always, the ask is, what can I do to make a better circle? Right? Who's here nervous? Right? I feel it too, we feel it. Feeling nervous means you're alive, right? You're feeling something instead of feeling nothing. I was 16 when I committed my crime. Ended up doing 30 years inside. Being alive or coming in young, you can't show emotions, specifically showing that you're afraid or sad. Uh, and there's not a lot of joyful moments. Learning how to control and channel emotions is the number one tool that I learned and it helped me come home. We can't control what happens to us, but we can control how we react, you know? So I just learned to take accountability on a whole bunch of things that happened. And I had to point a finger at everybody else and started to deal with myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, so. Why don't we do some fireworks, yeah? In 2008, there wasn't a lot of funding in the state of California for any arts programming. So when we showed up for the first time as artists, like, we're going to teach you this thing, we're going to play these games, everybody was just like, what? And then you start playing with folks, you start introducing art, and it just breaks down all the barriers. Everybody's having fun. It takes you back to being a kid. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and then you start asking the question of like, how many of you have had arts programming in your youth? And no hands go up. We don't ask so much anymore because it became clear as we were learning, it's like, oh yeah, this is like a piece that's missing. It's powerful to watch folks navigate that. All right, all right, we're gonna move on to the next one, all right? Here we go. Kitty wants the corner? When we create this space where they find themselves between the black, between the Hispanic, between the white. They're a brotherhood now who get along really well. And we hear from the staff how much now they see the house changes because there's relationships now as compared to just being strangers. Because unfortunately inside, we're programmed that way. Hey, here, hop. Hop. Oh. 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 Here we go. All that that was said, right? Let's try to carry that to the next exercises. So we're gonna suit up, grab some costumes, and then get half up and half down. Let's go. We're all gonna take a breath. Let's take a breath. At the sound of the drum, you'll open your eyes and just simply walk as you, okay? Don't worry about the character yet. Your normal daily walk. Think about what makes this character So we take Commedia dell'arte, this form of Italian theater from the 1600s, and essentially teach it as a form of therapy. And freeze! We just play in four states. Happiness, sadness, fear, and anger. And everybody pass the food to Eddie. And someone else. Good. And a sound. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. All right, and everybody go. The idea is this works like a Trojan horse, and before they know it, we start to introduce this deeper emotional work, and it's all framed through these stock characters in the comedian. Yeah, tell us who you are again. I am Capitino. Good. All right, Capitino. Your name changed for some reason. Capitano. Capitano, all right. Before Actors Gang, I was kind of like in a box from being locked down for so long, and then going through the program and playing the games and getting to act out all these emotions, it made me open up and have a craving for life now. We do these culminations each year where we invite family members to come and watch. And I mean, the amount of times I've heard from a parent that they're seeing their son for the first time or seeing their son for the first time in a long time because of the shells that, you know, we see put up as folks navigate the prison system. For me, it helped reconnect me with humanity. It wasn't something that I thought I'd be doing, but it's the reason why I'm home. And so I am a 100% believer that the work works. The hard work and commitment you have shown is a tribute to your resilience and desire to create value in your life and to have a positive effect on society. 
I think the last study we did, 77% of the folks who come to the class end up getting employed and through reentry. It's crazy because I just asked them earlier that I was interested into becoming a member of the group. I like what they're doing, you know, trying to bring positivity. Now, I'm that type of person, you know, I like, like, I, I like seeing people laughing. I like seeing people in, in a good mood, no matter where they at. Let them know, like, there's always hope. <laughs>